Welcome to BK Academy of Chess. This is Black Knight. Today we're going to examine the rook and rook's pawn. In this position here, the right rook is restricted in front of the pawn, and the black is attacking the pawn from behind with its rook. This is the optimum position for the black rook, to have the rook behind the pawn where it has maximum mobility. In this position, black can hold the drawer. Johann Berger, in his composition in 1922, teaches us how to handle these positions. Now, if the white king moves to f7, how should black play? He stays in front of the king so that the rook cannot remove itself from in front with check to gain the tempo necessary to promote the pawn. Now, what white is trying to do is to bring the king over to assist the pawn so that now the rook can be removed from in front of the pawn. So how should black handle this position? King to b5 is incorrect. White simply removes the rook and then promotes the pawn. The correct answer is just to check the king. Now here we could just continually check the king going back and forth for the draw. And when the king steps to the side, we just resume with attacking the pawn from behind. Now if we switch the position of the kings, black's king ends up on g7. Now g7 and h7 is the optimum squares for the black king to be on. Because in this position, all black has to do is hold the position and he gains the draw. You see? Keeps the rook behind the pawn when the king approaches the pawn, he just checks the king away. And black easily holds this position. Now let's take a look at this position with the black king on f7. And it's white to move. How should white play for the win? Rook to h8. So that when the pawn is taken, white has an x-ray attack. And that's why the best position for the black king is on g7 and h7 to prevent the backdoor x-ray attack. Now we take a look at this position where the black king is in such a bad position that white can win. This is how white goes about it. Now what white needs to do is of course is bring the king over to the pawn. But he has a little trick in the way he does this. Now here how should white play to get the win? Now's the time to remove the rook from in front of the pawn. So that when black takes, he has this nifty check. And he wins the rook and wins the game. Now we're going to end this lesson with the pawn on the 7th rank and the rook in front of the pawn with this composition by Andre Charon. Now notice, black is attacking the pawn from the side this time instead of from behind. Now black does have drawing chances, however white has better winning chances. If it was white's turn to move, white would win easily. Because black cannot set up a position where he can harass the king with checks. Because here, how should white play? By simply moving the king back, the pawn is now ready to promote and black has no more checks. Now black can draw this position, however how should black play? King to d6 is incorrect. This allows the white king to approach the pawn, to protect the pawn, and promote the pawn. Now black can check the king, however how should white play? He now makes the move to uh, protect the pawn. If black checks here, how should white play? The best way is just to step back because now the black king is exposed to checks by the rook and black cannot cover itself because black's rook is out of position. This play here to protect the king, the white king is now in position protecting the pawn the rook can remove from out in front of the pawn and the pawn safely promotes. Now black could be moving to d6 
with the intention of just moving back to e6 so that when the king approaches the pawn he tries to give his rook enough space in order to harass the king with checks and attack the pawn when the king moves away. Notice that there's three, three squares in between the rook and the pawn and that's usually enough distance to do this. However, in this case here, how should white play? The best way is just to attack the rook. Now if the rook leaves off of the file, then his king is exposed to checks. And if, if the rook moves off of the rank, it will no longer be attacking the pawn. Now here, instead of moving the king to e4, black could also try this, to e6 check. And how should white play this position? The best way is to king to d7. Now the rook is no longer attacking the pawn and it has to stay behind its king to protect it from checks. And it can't do both, so he checks the king and the king steps aside. Now black has no more checks and the rook is no longer attacking the pawn, so white easily promotes. And then again, he might not move the king to e4, he might not check the king, he might just try to hold this position by moving the king back to e6. However, now the white king can protect the pawn and the rook can safely remove itself from in front of the pawn and the pawn easily promotes. Now let's take a look at the correct way for black to defend this position. Surprisingly enough, the correct move is king to f6, moving away from the pawn with check. Now the reason black does this is because with this defense here on the F file, he can now hold the drawer. He couldn't do this on the E file, but now he can on the F file, and this is how, it's, how he does it. Now, if white moves king to C5, how should black play? King to F5. This gives his rook enough room to harass the king while still attacking the pawn and protecting its own king from checks. So that when the king approaches the pawn, black simply checks the king and just harasses the king with checks until the king moves away from the pawn. However, white has a better move here. King to d5, not running directly after the pawn, but trying to uh, set black up to fail with this move here. How should black play this position? You have to be careful not to check the king now because how should white play this position? King to e7. Now the rook cannot attack the pawn from the side and if he attacks it from the back white can easily check the black king and promote the pawn. Now in this position, instead of checking the king, where the king can move to e7, black simply moves the king back to f6. And he waits for the king to approach the pawn and gives the rook some space to harass the king with checks. Now if the king moves to c5, how should black play? King to f6 is incorrect because it allows the white king to protect the pawn. So the correct answer here is king to f4. Now when the king goes to attack the pawn, black can harass the king with checks. Now here, how should black play? King to f5. And if black maintains this defense, in such a fashion. There's nothing white can do to improve the position and so it's a drawer.